Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So Ethereum is currently moving in this kind of descending wedge pattern here. Yeah, I made a video yesterday, highlighted already that we're likely approaching here a support zone, this kind of micro support area, which is highlighted in orange on the chart and located between 2,590 and 2,657 USD. And in this scenario, we could still see another upside extension. And while it is possible that we've already topped here in um, possibly this wave five or this A wave, we are dealing with a corrective pullback and we've seen an initial reaction to the micro support area here specifically to the 50% Fibonacci retracement. Now the weekend was rather quiet, but we've seen a bit of a pullback and we see a descending wedge pattern. I could adjust the trend line here a little more. And these descending wedges, they tend to break to the upside. Doesn't have to break to the upside. Certainly we haven't seen a breakout yet, but Ethereum could from here start a move to the upside um, below 2,590, which is the lower boundary of that support area. However, I would start to assume that Ethereum has already formed a top and that we are testing the lower support region, which would then be pretty much for a correction of the entire rally. So at the moment, at the moment, if I zoom out a little bit, at the moment, the immediate pattern here that I'm tracking, or that let's say the upper micro support is for a correction of this rally that started on the 25th of September. So it's simply correcting this and extending once more higher. Um, while I cannot fully rule that out below 2,590, the probabilities for a more substantial pullback increase then. And this support area would be in, you know, for that case, for that scenario, that the rally has already topped. You know, I'm talking about the rally from the 6th of September in three waves, and it could be white wave A um, or something more bearish, but then if we break below 2,590, first of all, this support area comes into play with four support levels, four Fibonacci levels, 2,489, 2,419, 2,351, and 2,258. We have to say that the rally did what it needed to do. It reached my targets here. Um, I think here the target was reached and it pushed once more higher, but couldn't sustain really above that last swing high from the 23rd of September. So the risk for a deeper pullback is high. However, we can still not rule out further upside extensions. Actually, I'm going to watch for at least one more high as long as we're holding 2,590. But yeah, below that level, um, this support area will come into play, which is for the entire rally. So this three wave move up, which might've topped then, would then be corrected. Okay, so the question is which which pattern does the price need to correct? Is it just a small rally, then the upper support area? Is it the larger rally, then the lower support area? So these are the key levels that I'm watching, but for now, because the pullback is simply just corrective, we have some overlapping price action here. It also doesn't really look like um, an impulsive move down and we're moving in, these, in this wedge pattern. I think we could leave the door open for higher, but 2,590 is the pivot that distinguishes between a larger correction and one more upside extension. So the risk is getting high. I made a video today about Bitcoin as well, where I talked about that Bitcoin is coming to a key decision point because we are um, arriving yeah, at key targets and key pivots on the Bitcoin chart as well. And that will have an impact on Ethereum as well. So I think it's about taking it level by level now. Risk is getting high. The structure is very fragile. Not Nothing, nothing of this move up that started on the 6th of September or even from the um, August low, yeah, nothing has been impulsive. So it means we have to be here on the side of caution, not bearish, but cautious. This is um, overall, you can see it. If we zoom out, it's just a sideways range. Yeah? So nothing has decided here yet, but I think we are, um, we have to be ready for a somewhat deeper pullback. Okay, that's the update about Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.